think there's any way you could make life out of just hydrogen. You need other compounds to give you the more complex chemistry. The start of life was really the start of the first stars, probably about half a billion years after the Big Bang. Deep inside the cores of these early stars, heat and pressure crush hydrogen atoms together so powerfully they fuse, creating helium atoms and releasing a burst of energy. Over time, helium atoms fuse together too, creating carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and even heavier atoms. Over hundreds of millions of years, ancient stars build up all the elements that make up our solar system today, including the atoms in your body. But in doing so, these stars pay a catastrophic price. Drained of energy, the ancient stars collapse and then explode in a supernova, spreading their chemically rich stardust across space. The iron in your blood, the calcium in your teeth and your bones, these were created in a supernova explosion, probably different stars that blew up billions of years ago, seeding the space around them with this stuff. We are the product of not just one stellar explosion, but many stellar explosions. And the atoms in our left hand probably came from a different star than our right hand. The carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and iron, all of that was only created in stars. And the only way it could get here on Earth is if those stars exploded and that material was later amalgamated in our solar system. Blasted through space, these complex atoms now pepper the clouds of gas that are nurseries of new stars. And 4.6 billion years ago, one particular cloud begins to collapse under its own gravity, and our sun ignites. Much of the ancient stardust is sucked into the sun, never to be seen again. But the leftovers clump together to form comets, asteroids, planets, and eventually, life. I actually think of myself as a very complicated rock. I am made of things like iron and copper and manganese. When you sit down on a mountainside and you're there with a rock, those are your cousins too. Thanks to ancient supernovas, the Earth forms with all the atoms needed to create both rocks and life. But what is it that distinguishes us from a piece of granite? There are essentially three main parts to a living organism. You've got to have some metabolism or some kind of system of chemical reactions that powers your life. You've got to have some kind of bag or a sack that walls you off, your internal systems from the outside environment. And thirdly, you've got to store some kind of blueprint, some kind of description of yourself. Three things, a power source, a protective sack, and the plans for making more protected power sources. DNA is the plan. It's a long molecule built up from small units called nucleotides. DNA contains the instructions for how to build the cell's protein engine using small molecules called amino acids. DNA also tells the cell how to make lipids a fatty molecule that forms a perfect protective sac. And that's all there is to it. You have the basic form of life, a cell.